Crochet Creations and Addictions number 146. Got a bunch of stuff done. A little bit of updates, you know. Some of it you've seen on the live and others don't watch the live. So grab a cup, join me, and I will show you all that's been going on with a new update. So the uh, brand new bracket board is up. There are a few names on it already. And the very first uh, grand prize that is offered on that was uh, shown on the live on Sunday. I believe it was this Sunday. And that is going to be the May Yarnable. This is the May Yarnable. It is the <clears throat> Unicorn Dreamscapes colorway. I put a heart, a bluish purple heart stitch marker on it. This is a Superwash Moreno 85-15 nylon blend. It is 246 yards. That is one of the grand prize winning, winning items that you could win if you were this time's bracket winner. <coughs> How do you get on there? Well, sometimes you can do a make along and get your name in sometimes you can win a spot on the live and um things like that so if you're on the board and you get kicked off you can get back on the board it's a real fun time on sundays um and if you don't want to do the live you can just do make alongs and you might be able to get a spot on there so um throughout this video i will be drawing uh, i i already have drawn a couple spots and I will announce them as I go. So um, there is another game on the live that, I mean, another item on the live, which is this basket right here. And in that basket, there are wrapped up things and, you know, different odds and ends that you could win. And um, I'm going to add in a set of handmade stitch markers that I made. You can see they are letters. And they have a keychain to keep them on. These are dark purple in color. And they range from the letters E through J. So there are six of them. And they all are going in the basket. So sometimes I do that. I show you what's in there. Um, or what I'm adding in there. And sometimes I just add things in there. And get it filled back up because there's a spot right in the middle that needs to, to have something. And I think I'm going to add something um, before Sunday comes along. So what we have been doing on Sunday is we've been doing a make-along. And that make-along is a dress and hat and booty set. Booties meaning shoe set. Like a Mary Jane style. And we are on week five or six, somewhere in there. And we're done with the dress. And so I wanted to show you my finished dress. And this one is going to be for our newest granddaughter coming in June. I added a little daisy on the, on the front. There is a bow on the back, which of course is always going to be <laughs> whatever way it's going to be right there are buttons so these are really adorable 
and we've been working on it together and everybody's been doing their own colors and their own ad um, doing different sleeves and different things with theirs so this Sunday we worked on the hat and I wanted to do like a sun type style hat so again my colors are matching and I added the daisy which puts sets it right off so this is a zero to three months so that it'll last just a little while longer and so there is a good uh, close-up of that and then um, I'm gonna do a pair of shoes to match so that she has a set um, you can follow along if you are so inclined and go to my Facebook page and find this make along it is number 40 we've been doing make alongs on there for a year or two <laughs> and I'm up to number 40 and um, number 41 will come later in this show uh, in this video so this was number 40 we only have one more week of creating and then the final uh, grand prize will be drawn the following week after the week we do the booties we do the shoes and that is going to be given the the prize that is going to be given to that person that wins which will be a random draw will be three of these beauties and this is a lion brand ice cream and it is the colorway OOBE there are three of these this is a three light I believe yes 394 yards of that you get three of them I put in a pink dark pink stitch marker in the mess in the mix and I also put in a bag of little odds and ends you could use like the daisies that I used the ribbon that would match this yarn and some buttons that would match this yarn so those are the kinds of things that you could win if you are doing any of the make-alongs with me because I usually try to coordinate yarns that you can make that make-along again so that is the fun that goes on on Sundays so now I'm going to go to what I've been doing um, for like my monthly and yearly make-alongs every month for the last three years I've been making hats every month and showing you yarns that I'm using and making a hat out of it and sharing that pattern with you so this month is uh, May is Brava Worsted I hadn't used this yarn before nor did I use the color way in the cherry speckle so I showed on the live that I had finished mine. This was a bag of day pattern. It is the waffle hat. And I'll link any patterns that I talk about today below. But I did it with this Brava speckle with the waffle pattern. And I put on a little ch couple changes. I put on the new moogly way of doing the crab stitch which is forward twist your needle and then finish your single crochet rather than doing it backwards I also um, decreased my top um, every other you know decrease two doubles um, no make one double but by, by in decreasing by two so I just kept I did that twice two rows at the top I don't know what crystal does then I put on one of these pom-poms that is removable by a snap which is awesome because then you can wash it and that is finished it is beautiful this yarn comes out like a worsted should it is four medium but it is a, a very warm and thick hat not as thick as if you were using a five or a six just right kind of winter hat so this will probably end up in my Etsy shop soon enough 
If you're interested before it gets there, let me know. Uh, these are a little bit pricey uh, pom-poms. So these hats range a little bit more with the pom-pom. You can always get it without the pom-pom. Have me make it special. All right, so every month the um, a post goes up for you to put your hats in. You can make any hat you want with any yarn you want. As long as you put um, the hat in that and only that make along. They need to be handmade, no machines. Um, and then, like, we were making the hat for this set. This hat can't be in both. That's all. No, no double dipping. <laughs> and um, we also have a bonus prize for anyone who can make a hat every single month and get it posted. So there's 12 hats to be made throughout the year. And then the bonus prizes uh, drawn in December. And then that person can win a bonus prize. And there's usually a project bag to be had. So that is my and on this yarn is very nice there's a lot left this will end up in my navajo blanket so we will go right on to that so i don't think i showed the navajo blanket last month um this is a scrap blanket it is done in the navajo diamond pattern but it is using scraps sometimes i do one row of one color sometimes i do two sometimes i do three but here it is. It's got a little bit of love lately. It's probably about three and a half diamonds big now. That is where I showed you last where that stitch marker is. And I will move the stitch marker up to here so I will know where I was. So I challenged you to save your scraps and put it in a blanket like this. This is an ongoing make along. Um, you may finish one and start another. You may have one going on for just three weight. You may have one going on for four weight. You may also have one going on for five weight. But uh, what's nice is that you can throw your scraps in a bag and when you get a chance or you just want something mindless, grab that bag and work on it a few rows and use up your scraps. So at the edge, you have a fringe that just automatically is made at the end of each row. And I usually do through both loops at the end to give it a little st stability and not make it curl so much. Little hint there. You can even do two at the end no one is going to notice it's in the pattern that you would notice if you went through both loops so that is my um update on my blanket right now i don't work on it all that much okay so then the other thing i wanted to say was i did go ahead and draw a winner it's a random winner and that winner will um be uh, able to win a spot on the bracket board or something out of the basket behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and announce who that winner is. The Navajo winner, Navajo blanket winner for May. And I'm not drawing every month, but once in a while. Uh, that winner is Denise Hoffman. Congratulations to Denise. She'll let me know what number she wants on the bracket board or if she wants something out of there. I have plans of tagging her in the weekly for next week if she doesn't uh, claim her, pro her uh, idea soon. But she will because she always watches, right? There is not that many of you that are doing it, but I will go back and I will put all of the names in every time that I draw. Okay, so going on to another yearly make-along. There is an ongoing cuddle-along that I was doing with Stephanie. And she's now taking a little break, so that post is still up. You can enter any baby items at any time as long as they're not in another make-along. And I will randomly pick a winner from that. 
Again, today, I'm going to pick a winner. I have done that. It is Kathy Ann. She's the winner for May for the Cuddle Along. She can pick a spot on the bracket board or something out of the basket. So there you go. Those are the two winners that are going along with this video for today. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is I wrote everything down here. So I'm not forgetting anything. <laughs> Okay, so next, so just a little side note that don't forget we're going to do the pair of Mary Janes on Sunday. And we probably will be starting the knit blank or the knit sweater that I was talking about doing with the beginner knitters. And that will be this one. So this one's going to be starting on Sunday after we do the booties so if you want to join in on this and learn you know learn try and knit something this is done in a bulky five with um I think I'm using a seven millimeter um, knitting needle so you don't have to do it in the round it's a flat little sweater so you could join us on Sunday and we will start that and we'll try and go slow with that. We'll do it toward the end of the video so that way whoever doesn't want to stay can go ahead and leave. All right, so now I want to go on to what I was doing with my basket challenge from Beverly from Beverly's Crafts. <coughs> <coughs> Beverly sends me something to do and challenges me, and I do the same to her. <clears throat> she has a little bit bigger project to do this month. However, there is no hurry, Bev. No hurry. Take your time. It's not a monthly challenge, remember? It was a whenever we got to it around challenge. So take your time, please, because then that puts me off the hook. You know. <laughs> Plus, you don't have to go to work every day. Yeah. All right. So what, what I did was I challenged everyone at the end of my videos to do this basket with me. And for um, three weeks, we were working on it. One week, we didn't have time. So we went back and we didn't we skipped it. So this was a pattern from Krista Cagle. It's called the Free Crochet Storage Basket. It is done with home uh, lion brand woolies lion brand woolies now beverly sent me the wool 20 percent wool it is a six bulky so when you do this basket you put two of these strands together and holy cow is it heavy duty it makes for a very sturdy basket now I went ahead and finished it. I probably should pull it out at the end and try and fix this a little bit better. But here is my basket. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Look how solid it is. These handles are stiff. Like, like they're just really nice. Really nice pattern. See how that kind of gives it a texture even with the tweed you can see that texture it's really really nice pattern and this is what I mean about my ending I did such a good job and then I get to the end and I finish with a bump there <laughs> yeah so I have a idea that next time I'm gonna pull that down a little bit different but my gosh, is this, yes, there will be a next time. Isn't this the cutest thing? So this is perfect to throw in your dishcloth items, your socks, um, projects. Perfect for a, a basket to use for, yeah, I don't want to give it away now. I want to keep it. I want to make more. Uh-huh. But you have to do like a row or two and then stop because the big hook, it's, um, you know, one of the, one of the big ones like an L or an M, um, 
you use to be big enough to get through these this heavy duty six bulky doubled what an awesome basket thank you bev for this challenge it was really nice and i am glad i will link all those patterns below this pattern is a free pattern as well so thank you for joining me today i think i've caught you up on everything recent and um yeah i think i have <laughs> so take a moment out of each day and be creative talk to y'all later bye for now